Today we'll focus on managing worry. Many of us are worried about COVID-19 and worry can sometimes be helpful, but it's important to recognize when worry isn't helpful, when it doesn't lead anywhere except to more worrying so that you can take steps to manage it. So to begin, when you notice yourself worrying, take a moment to ask two questions. First, what is it that I'm most worried about happening? Knowing the details is really necessary to answer the second question, which is, do I have control over that happening? In other words, is this a problem that I can solve? Knowing the answers to those two questions then helps us to decide which strategies will be most effective. If the problem is solvable, in other words, if you can take concrete steps to address the issue, then I suggest that you use the problem-solving strategies that we share on our website. If it's not something that you can personally solve, like for example, the spread of the virus, I would recommend one of four different techniques that stop what we call the worry cycle. One, bring your attention to the present. Two, focus on what you can control. Three, find the silver linings and four, schedule specific worry times. Now, these are all described in detail in our care package for worry on our website, and you can choose the technique that fits you best. Right now, I'll walk you through the finding silver linings technique. Worry draws all of our attention to the negative. To break the negative cycle, we can look for silver linings even in the most difficult or trying situations. Now, this does not mean to pretend that all is okay or to ignore our current reality, but it does mean to actively search for the positive aspects of the situation we are faced because focusing on the positive can interrupt the worry cycle. For example, losing your job during the pandemic truly is a bad thing. But it could also allow the opportunity to reflect on what is most important to you or to feel connected with others in new ways. Now, we know it's not always easy to focus on silver linings in difficult times, but opening your mind and training yourself to really search for those positive features can interrupt the worry cycle. So this is just one of several strategies that we recommend for managing worries. I hope you find this information helpful. Try it out next time you notice yourself getting caught in an unhelpful, never-ending worry cycle. And please check out the other strategies in our COVID-19 care package on our website. If you're interested, you can sign up on the site to receive alerts as we post new information.